Hey guys, today we're going to be learning about pre-bandbase. It's going to be an amazing tool for you and it's going to help really level up your low poly skill and cut, at least for me, it cut days off of my time working on any kind of low poly project from characters to full scenes. So let's get started right here on the website. Now let me open up the magnifier really quick. <clears throat> And I'm going to show you guys the, uh, and of course I'll have this in the description, but I'm going to show you guys the uh, the URL right there. It's at Lampy Sprites each IO. And it's called Pre Bam Base, just like that. <clears throat> so from here, and I, I actually strongly recommend that you, um, you, when you click download, you actually donate something. You know, a dollar or two goes a long way. Lampy does amazing work here. Pre-band base is still very much a work in progress, and we're going to talk about some of the negatives of pre-band base later on, and maybe even during the stream as we uh, we work on it and uh, install it and get it set up. But for the most part, this is going to be a tutorial and a review of pre-band base, how to use it, and what to look out for when you're using it. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is download it, and of course. Uh, Pick your uh, your payment option. I'm going to click no. For me personally, because I've you know I've already taken care of all of that. But for you, please, once again, 100% strongly recommend donating. You're going to download the one that matches your version of Windows. You probably won't need 32-bit, but um, yeah, get uh, either Windows. Um, here he has a uh, OS X and uh, two different Linux versions: the i686 and the uh, and the standard. So I, uh, I downloaded Windows because obviously that's what, what I'm running. And uh, once you do and you install it, you're going to want to open up Blender and get ready to set it up. Or uh, once you download it, you're going to need to go to Blender and get it set up. Let's see, one sec. So from here, what you're going to do once you have Blender open is, uh, and you don't need to open it for every scene or install it for every scene. You can just install it once if you're not familiar with Blender all the way. Is you're going to go over up here to edit. You're going to go down to preferences, and it's going to bring up bring up this uh, this little window. Now, if you're not on add-ons, go down to add-ons, and then go over to install. So we're in a uh, completely different. Uh, set up right now because this is our work folder. So I'm going to go out to uh, the folder that I have it installed in. Pre-BAM pre base for Blender right there. And we're going to click install add-on. And then we want to enable. Oop, there we go. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to install it with uh, a sprite, but we need to open up a sprite first. So let's get that set up. And it should have launched. There it is. So with a sprite launched, we're going to try and uh, install the extension pressing this button i think we might need to search where a sprite is so give me a moment to find my uh, installation or actually let's uh let's see if it'll take it We're going to go in a sprite we're going to go to preferences and we're going to uh, make sure the extension is there pre bam base so it looks like we're all set up and ready to go for you uh, you might need to find the executable for a sprite and put it there but uh, mine was able to auto detect it and put it where it belongs at least so far it seems so we're going to close out of this 
and we're actually not going to use it just yet. What we're going to do is um, we're going to restart Blender. And this will help reestablish, uh, make sure that that plugin is established. We're going to go all the way over to the right over here where there's this little arrow and we're going to click out. And there's going to be a pre bam base tab right here. Now, if this doesn't show up, try and uninstall it and then reinstall it, you know, the exact same way we did before and just run through the installation step. Sometimes Blender just doesn't take it. And um, if uh, restarting Blender doesn't fix the error, then just reinstall it and it should work the second time. So with Aceprite launched and with Prebam Base installed on, on Blender and linked to Aceprite, we're going to click Connect in our Prebam Base menu. <clears throat> So we're waiting for a connection. So over in Acebrite, we're going to try and give it a sync to. And hey, it's synced. So how you do that is just you go into file and you press sync. And this little menu should tell us if the sync is on. And it'll tell us what Blender file we're syncing to, which mine is coffeebar.blend. So I can hide that for the moment. We're going to go over here and we can see it's connected. We can hide this menu now that we're done, done with it. So with all of that set, set up, you are now ready to start painting in Blender using a sprite. So I'm going to go to UV editing and we've been here before in one of our earlier tutorials. So this should look very familiar, but I'm using a scene that, um, that I'm currently working on that isn't NDA. Oops, I'm in edit mode. Make sure I'm not in edit mode with anything else. And we're probably going to uh, UV map this chair right here using uh, using a sprite. So we're going to go over here to sprite, which should be a new option that shows up for us in our UV um, 2D viewport. And we're going to go down and we're going to press edit. So it seems like it did nothing, but if we go over to a sprite, it's put our texture, it's opened up our texture over here in Acebrite. So we can start putting our UV maps down and painting them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to uh, try and snap Acebrite right here. And then we're gonna start the UV process. So I might speed through this because we've covered how to do UV mapping before. But uh, if not, then, um, you know, you can use this as a sort of a quick rundown of what we're going to do or of how it works. Oops, I didn't mean to do new. So I'm going to put our texture on here, our room. Make sure everything is set correctly. We're going to focus on the object. And then we're going to just start sculpting like we normally would, or start UV, uh, UV mapping, not sculpting. UV, project from view. And I do this the same way with everything, is I always do a, a project from view to get that uh, PlayStation style. But if you have another, another method that you like to do for your, uh, for your graphics, ooh, we're going to have to use the other tool, then uh, feel free to feel free to absolutely and this could be a little bit big we could probably make it smaller but we're going to start with this size for right now and i'm going to bring up a sprite and you'll notice right here that um there's our uv right there now if your uv does not show up at all all you need to do is in a sprite, go up here, go to file, and then hit sync again. And it's going to ask you, do you want animations and show UV? So just press um, show UV, don't press animation. We will have a future tutorial on how to set up animations with pre base, but this one's just gonna be for UV mapping. Um, hit show UV and then hit hide. And um, that should bring it up. If it still doesn't, then the last thing you'll need to do 
is um is try and do a a replace over here um and that's only if send uv's manual is not an option but for the most part it should be as seamless as possible so let's paint our chair now hmm what how should we make this chair it's going to be pretty basic but i don't want it to blend in with our backdrop too hard so i think we'll steal some colors from outside There we go, try and make it nice and uh, parallel with that as much as I can. And the best part about UVs is you can draw outside of the lines if you need to. I'm gonna make sure that the back and front are nice and solid though, so that we don't have to worry about anything too much. A Little bit of texturization for fun. Not too much, though. And as you'll notice over here, you'll see it start to update. You'll see your texture start to show on the object that you're painting. And this is extremely helpful because you don't have to constantly update your UV map to try and get it, uh, try and see what's going on and what, uh, what things are happening. And right now I'm probably going to start rolling the Patreon. So I just want to say thanks to all my Patreons for absolutely, absolutely supporting me through all of this and uh, giving me the, the courage to come out and continue my tutorial series. Our next tutorials are going to be quite the fun ones. We're going to be covering, uh, we are going to be covering more advanced features as well as how to set up your render for Maya. You should see that one launch at the same time as this one, but uh, our next tutorials next month are gonna be more advanced features such as how to create low poly characters. And you'll definitely not want to miss that one, especially if you're ready and ruined to go for making your own OCs and get a, getting started on that. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with it too. And with that, I want to say an absolute big thanks to all of you guys. And uh, I also want you guys to, uh, for anybody who hasn't, please check out the Patreon. It helps me make more of these tutorials. Consider giving me suggestions on how to either improve a tutorial or even how to, um, 
um, or even a tutorial that you guys might want to see that I just absolutely never considered.